What's good everybody? My name is Jay Fatty. Welcome back to another video. Today, I got a dope video for you. We're going to talk about using Patcher with Frequency Splitter to make a master chain that's really simple and only uses stock plugins. That actually works really well. Here, I'll show you how it works. Here's this beat that I just made and then mastered with this, this chain. Um, I'll play it mastered and then I'll play it unmastered so you can hear the difference. It's nice and loud, hitting, hitting nice, all that stuff. Um, and I'm gonna play it without it. Just that drop. So yeah, you, I'm sure you can hear that difference. Uh, I'm just going to show you how to make this real quick in Patcher. Okay, so we switched over to a new project here, something that's a little easier on the CPU, and I'm going to show you how to make this master chain, okay? But it'll be doing the same thing that you saw it do on the last one. So first thing you're going to want to do is obviously mix your beat. Um, doesn't have to be super crazy. I have a drum loop in here and a melody loop that I just threw in. Um, and then did some differences for 16 bars just to make it um, fluid, you know, and keep going. I have them linked up here in the mixer, and then I just mess with the volume over here in the channel rack to really mix it. So like I said, nothing too crazy, but we're going to open up uh, a patcher on the master track, okay? Now, once you have patcher open and try to play, nothing's going to play because you haven't routed anything yet. So I'm just going to tell you the stuff that you need to route to be able to do this. First things first, obviously you gotta put in frequency splitter cause this is a frequency splitter master chain inside patcher, okay? So we're gonna bring that in, boom, just like that. Take it off of the, out. Oh, you under, if you've never seen this before, you're gonna, it's gonna take a second. There's a little bit of a learning curve, but it's pretty actually really, actually really dope. Not pretty dope, really fucking dope is what it is. Okay, so we're going to want the audio to come in from FL Studio and hit the frequency splitter, all right? Now we want to right-click on the frequency splitter and go to Outputs, Audio, and then activate however many we want, um, up to three. I'm going to deactivate the main output. You're going to see why here in a second. But we're going to activate up to three, so we'll just do one, two... And three and then you see as I'm doing that these little dots are coming out the top one here is gonna be our low this one will be our mid and this one will be our highs all right so now we're gonna double click inside frequency splitter right click um, the lows and we'll have that be sin one because we want it to be the lows the mids sin two and the highs sin three all right now we can close out of this and we want to bring three compressors in one for the low band one for the mid band and one for the high band so we'll just right click add plugin compressor now don't worry if you don't want to have to do all of this I actually will have this preset for you so you can just download the preset and drag and drop you don't have to do all of this but um, I'm just doing this so you can understand what each part actually is all right so we got three compressors in here right now we're gonna want to add three destructors because we're going to use, we, we don't have to use Destructor, um, you can use any other saturation, but this is the saturation step, okay? So, um, you'll, I'll go in depth here in a second, I just want to set this up. Where the heck is the Destructor? Here it is. We'll add three of these. Okay. Now, and we'll add one more plugin, which is a Maximus. Boom. Okay. So we're gonna set it up like this. This top part here will be our lows, mid part will be our mids, and then the, bo the bottom part here will be our highs. Don't try, don't think about it too much, it's not that confusing. Okay, let's just, you know, route this. 
just drag it like this. You can just drag and it'll create this wire and you just drag the path, you know? And then the Maximus will go to FL Studio. Now what we're gonna wanna do also is double click on the destructors and take off all of these. We just want the distortion part. Okay, now you're gonna understand why here in a second if you haven't already. So we got the lows being split. We got all bands being split here, the lows, the mids, and the highs. And then they all directly are going into their own specific compressor and then saturation and then going into a final like Maximus leveling thing that we'll use to make it loud, loud, and then finally to out, out, outside of FL Studio. So it's doing that for each band, all right? Um, the power in that in itself is amazing. So now to actually figure out which where the bands are usually it's pretty good but i like to go to the 72 db to give it a more like steeper slope and then let's hit play the destructor might be making the stuff really loud right now so we're gonna have to do some messing in here and no if you do get this preset it's not gonna just always work right when you drag it in you got to do mess with settings a little bit for each song because each song is different. Kind of a basis to uh, help you understand more about like how the mastering for each band will work. Okay, so let's listen to this. Okay, see, I just wanted to kind of like lay it out with these knobs here to get the right frequencies in the right bands. Now we can kind of mess with uh, leveling them in a certain way. Like we can, let's just listen and then you'll see as I do it. <laughs> So that's a pretty dope uh, beginning point for it. You know, everything is starting to sound nice. Now we can get into the little gritty details. We're going to do this band by band, all right? So I'll just uncheck these two so it's just the low. So we're going to go into the destructor now and give that low some nice saturation. We'll click on this and go to Harmer Soft Sat and mess with the settings here a little bit. We can't forget about that compression, which I almost did. You want to actually kind of mess with the settings here. Um, get creative with it. Just mess with certain things. We're going to have low stuff for the kick or in, in the bass and all of the low ends because we don't want it super crazy, all right? All right, cool. So we're going to hook up the mids now and do the same thing. Keep it with the low so you can hear how everything comes together. Um, I just start at the lows because it's kind of, for me, the way I see it, it's like a base, a building block. So the lows will get sound and powerful, then we'll blend the mids in, and then we'll blend the highs, and then the final product will all be blended, and then, you know, stuff that we need to change, we will do then. <laughs>
See, now that's starting to come together, starting to sound nice and um, loud. Uh, the, and the next step we can do is go into the Maximus here and just kind of mess with some of these settings. Maybe mess with some of the saturation here and then some of the gain. We don't really got to mess with any of the low band settings because that was the whole point of splitting it here, you know. Um, low or the mids or the highs. I meant to say just the full bands here because we can just go in here and mess with the settings. If you want to get into uh, more depth, you can actually go in here and mess with them. But we'll just be on the master tab right here. Okay, so... Let's mess with some of the saturation while we listen and then give it some, some more loudness. look at that all you had to do was have one slot here on the master for a whole chain but what I will do also is on that same master chain I'll come down here add a soft clipper uh, right before the limiter and on the limiter I'll just bring the ceiling up and bring the saturation down to about where I want it to be um, like the loudness of the track so we'll do like 2.5 negative 2.5 give it some headroom for vocals and then we'll come over here and bring the threshold of the soft cliver all the way to the left and bring the post up. <laughs> bring, bring the post up enough until where I see it's being affected, um, like where it's coming up and hitting that red bottom of that red line of the saturation there. Because the saturation is acting as a, a ceiling compared to uh, this normal ceiling. It's acting as like a soft clipper ceiling. And then we already have a soft clipper right here too. So it, it really rounds those uh, transients instead of just directly cutting them. So yeah, I just added some final EQs, but that's pretty much it. Yeah, you can split, thanks to this frequency splitter, you can split each individual track and then have a compressor and saturation or however, what if you want to even add other stuff like reverb into this, you know, you can. Um, but you can completely master your track just using this one patch or preset um, and a couple other things, but... It's all up to you. But yeah, if you want to download this patch or preset, I'll have the link in the description. So check that out, guys. But yeah, if this video helped you, make sure you leave a like, hit subscribe, and really get creative with Patcher. It's a fucking amazing thing just built inside of FL Studio. But yeah, until next time, everybody. Much love and peace. Tell them, tell them, tell them, fuck 12. Tell them, tell them, tell them, fuck 12. Tell them.